Oh, I'm really excited. It's the 31st of March and our clocks went forward in the night, so um, it's not going to be dark or sunset. It's not until half past seven this evening. So how great is that? So we really are into spring now and the garden has woke up. Um, there is a lot of greenery, lots of new buds and shoots, but I'm quite limited in what I can do at the moment because I'm still having problems with my knee. It's still quite angry. So I thought I would do a March tour and I can show you everything that I have managed to achieve this month. So there's been quite a few changes and I'm really pleased about how the garden is uh, progressing. So I've just fed the birds. Um, so they've been having their breakfast and Paddy's having a mooch about. And I've just finished my coffee. So uh, yeah, come with me. So welcome back to my kitchen garden. So quick tour of the greenhouse. I've got some hollyhocks and delphiniums. The black hollyhocks and the purple delphiniums were from Ali from my rusty garden. There's uh, three tomato plants there. That's a uh, copper river. Again, they're from Ali. At the back, I've got some chilies. Um, quite behind most people I think I sowed them quite late I've only got one nasturtium because the other seeds didn't germinate but I can rectify that uh, sweet peas I pinched those out so hopefully they'll bush up there are more tomatoes again from Ali so I've got brown boar rebel starfighter and black beauty and then next to that is the Lola Rosso lettuce or salad leaves. Cauliflower is all the year round. I've got some marigolds and some cosmos. Now this is my conundrum. These are all my um, onion sets. This is the second lot that I've bought. So what's the conundrum? Well, I don't know if you can see from here, but under that netting is my leeks, garlic and overwintering onions. But the overwintering onions, when the bulbs went really soft, but they were still green tops. And I was really concerned I was just going to lose them all. So I bought a second lot of onion sets and these are doing really, really well. But I've read since that although the ones outside were soft they should rectify themselves and um, harden up a bit but I don't know if that's right so I really don't know what to do I don't know whether to leave them in there and risk it and end up with nothing or lift them all and replace them with these if anybody knows then please put in the comments below because I've never experienced that before in 30 odd years growing onions. It's the first time ever and I'm baffled. And up here I've got my potatoes that are chitting first and second earlies which I was hoping to get in today but it's bitterly cold and it's just starting to drizzle now so it'll have to be another day. And next to that is the main crop which won't go in until the end of April. So that's the greenhouse in March.
So I just wanted to show you all the inside of the hedgehog feeding station. So the brick is to prevent cats trying to get in there. So it just is a little obstacle. So I feed them with kitten kibble. You can give them dog kibble, but it's um, a bit tougher on their teeth. So kitten kibble is a lot softer. So don't bother buying lots of expensive hedgehog food because it's just a rip off. Kitten kibble is nice and cheap and it's perfect. So I keep a brick on top just so the lid can't come off. They've got a fresh bowl of water every day. I clean this out every day as well because they're not the cleanest of animals. They poop on everything, even from their food. And the entrance is bricks. It's set up like that again so the cats can't get in. So if I just lower the camera, you can see how they get inside. I've got Mr. Hedgehog on top, just so they're in no doubt that this is their place. Turning around, that's my trail camera. It's getting a little bit old now, so if we have really, really heavy rain, it fills with condensation, smears up the camera lens and doesn't record properly. So if I just keep that bit of plastic over the top, it just offers it a little bit of protection. But that is how you get to see Hogwatch. And one final little detail. This is the Hedgehog Highway. This is where they come in and go out. But I do think there's a couple. I think one lives under my shed and one lives, lives under the summer house. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my little catch up. Um, I'm really pleased actually of what I've achieved in March because it's been quite challenging. I'm so limited in what I can do at the moment because of my knee. Um, but we're getting there, slowly but surely. I just do a little and often. But before I end this, I just wanted to give a shout out to Danny from the Grow Up channel. I received these in the post. I've got two Brad's Tomic Fusion tomatoes and several of the Heinz. So thank you, Danny. I just haven't had a chance to sow them yet, but hopefully I'll get them done this week. So I'm really, really looking forward to growing those. So if you have enjoyed my video, please subscribe and thank you for watching and um, I will see you all in the next one.